Hello, and thank you for calling the service desk. My name is Chris, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create blind carbon copy recipients, or BCC recipients, to an Outlook meeting invitation. This is a request that we commonly get at the service desk, but unfortunately there isn't a super great way to just do this in Outlook. There isn't a button, there isn't a field to populate that just allows you to create uh, a meeting invitation where each recipient will not be able to see the other recipients of your meeting invitation. However, we do have a workaround for it and that's what we're going to go over right now. So the first thing you're going to want to do is jump into your Outlook and switch to your calendar view. If you haven't done that before, if you haven't ventured into your Outlook calendar, there's these little icons down here below the navigation tree. Just click the little calendar icon and you're going to wind up in this view right here. It might be a little different. You might be in the week mode uh, or the day mode by default, or you might have more than one calendar. It doesn't matter. Either way, this is the view that you're going to want to be. Any of those views will work. So the first thing that we're going to want to do to start this process is to go up to our ribbon here and select New Meeting. Give this button a click, and you're going to wind up with a uh, an untitled meeting window where you can create your initial meeting request. So what we're going to want to do is we need to populate at least one recipient for this message. Now, you could place multiple recipients in either the required or the optional field, but if you were to send this message out with the recipients in either of these lines, then they could potentially see the email addresses or the contact names of the other people that are sent the request. So in this case, we're only going to populate ourselves as a recipient. So now that there's at least one recipient in this message, you could now go ahead and type some body text in this part of the window here. And you could add some additional information for the meeting, maybe the location or subject or whatever information that you want to provide uh, in there. You could do that. Uh, we don't really need to do that right now because what we're going to be using is... Um, we're going to be creating a collaborative platform meeting request. In this case, we're going to be using Microsoft Teams. Now, you might be using something like Cisco WebEx Meetings or Zoom or some other type of collaborative platform, but the process is going to be pretty much exactly the same regardless of which platform you're doing. Um, there is one little difference I'm going to point out, but we'll get to that in just a second. So the next thing that we're going to want to do is head back up to our ribbon here, and we're going to select Teams Meeting. Now, for yours, it might be Cisco WebEx meeting or Zoom, whatever platform you're using. Just find the, find the icon for the widget for your particular platform. It's going to generate some text and some links down here in the body of the message. Um, now, I know with some of the platforms like Cisco WebEx meetings, it'll actually give you some text that says something like, um, more text will be generated here after you save or send the message. So if you're getting a prompt like that or some text that says something similar, just go up here to the top right hand or top left hand corner of the window and click the save button. That's gonna save the a draft of this message and it will go ahead and you'll get a little message that says like contacting server and it will generate the text for your links and other um, other information about joining the call, contact like call in numbers, things like that. Uh, Microsoft Teams doesn't require that, so nothing has changed on our screen, but that might be something that you encounter. We're going to go ahead and we're going to highlight um, all the pertinent text um, that was generated, whether after hitting the Save button, or in our case was generated right off the bat. I'm just going to use Control-C to copy. You can right-click and select Copy as well, because uh, we're going to need this again here in just a moment. Because what we're doing now is we're not going to send this meeting invitation. We're just using this to generate something called an iCalendar invitation. And we're getting that by going up here to our ribbon. And by forward, right next to forward, there's a little downward facing arrow. Click that and then select the option that says forward as iCalendar. It's going to generate another message window. This will probably look pretty familiar to you. It is a regular email composing window. We're going to go down here to the body of the message and we're going to paste in the information that we copied off of the last window. I used control V to paste that in there. V is in Victor. Uh, you can also right click and select paste and 
you could potentially select from other formatting options that you could paste with but we're just going with the default when we hit control V there and you'll notice that we have our from line our to line our CC line uh, and you might have a BCC line here which is what we're going after if you don't have it though don't panic just go up here to options and select BCC from the show fields portion of the ribbon and you'll notice we've got our BCC line has appeared here all happily right where it's supposed to be and then all we need to do is add our list of recipients you can type them in one by one I have some on the clipboard here ready to go so we've typed those in uh, we want to hit control K because we pasted them in and that's going to resolve all of our uh, email addresses that are separated by semicolons and you can see that it has underlined them and it has recognized them as valid addresses and we're going to go ahead here and just edit our subject line and we're going to change it to whatever we want it to be in this case we'll just say test meeting and now you can click send and that has sent out the meeting invitation to all of our recipients they're all BCC'd so they're not going to know the other recipients of that uh, invitation and you'll you will still be able to get um, the meeting replies so people can say that maybe they'll attend they're definitely gonna attend or they can decline it as well so you'll still get those um, but as far as this window goes uh, we don't need this anymore our invitation was already sent out from the iCalendar option so we can click the X select don't save and that's it we're done you've sent out a meeting invitation all the recipients are blind carbon copied so they're not going to be able to receive they're not going to be able to see who else is invited to the meeting and that's it if you have any further questions I'd recommend getting in contact with your service desk you can usually call them email them and usually you find their contact information on your company intranet that's it for me for now you all have a wonderful day